Today I'm going to give you all the details on Vatraire's latest battery. This is the 460 amp hour, that's right, 460 amp hour 12 volt battery. The chemistry on it is lithium iron phosphate and that is 460 amp hours in this very compact size. I'm gonna give you all the measurements, all the details on this battery. I'm even going to open it up so you can get a look at the inside. Do me a favor though, if you have any questions about this product throughout the video, definitely drop a comment below and I'll be glad to answer it. I think this battery though would be absolutely perfect if you're an RVer and you're looking for a very large capacity battery that doesn't take up a lot of space. This battery checks off all of the boxes there. Now let me jump right into the specs on this battery. They are very impressive by the way, but I do think specs are important, especially when you're shopping for a battery for your RV. You don't want to have to find out later that you need to buy a different battery or that you have to get additional equipment, you know, to do the things that you want to do when it's installed on your RV. So to start off, it is a 12 volt based system. And like I said earlier, it has an astonishing 460 amp hours of capacity. I mean, a lot of times you have to get maybe two or three batteries to get up to that number. This one has 460 amp hours. It does have an integrated heating pad in the unit. And so if you keep your battery in the RV in the winter time, temperature drops below 32 degrees, then it will activate and heat up the battery. It'll then cut off at about 41 degrees Fahrenheit. And like just about all lithium batteries on the market today, it does have a built-in BMS for safety. It is a 300 amp model. Uh, speaking of the discharge and charge current, it has a 300 amp continuous discharge or charge current. And now that 300 amp number is particularly important if you're going to hook up this battery to a powerful inverter and say perhaps run your air conditioner on the RV. It basically translates into a maximum capacity of 3,840 watts. So if you've got a 15K BTU air conditioner in your RV and you've got a soft start installed, no problem. You can probably even run two 15K air conditioners with that kind of capacity, especially if you stagger their, their start times. So having a 300 amp max continuous discharge current is really impressive. The recommended charge current, by the way, is 92 amps, and that's a very respectable input current to be able to replenish the battery, especially if you're connected to shore power and you wanna quickly recharge it back up. Now, it is IP65 rated, and for those curious about running these in series or in parallel, you can run a maximum of four of these in series and up to 10 in parallel. And like I said earlier, it is lithium iron phosphate based. That is the chemistry on the battery. And so of course it's gonna have lots of cycle life. The manufacturer rates it at 5,000 plus cycles. Now hear me out, those are all great specs. Typically though, when you hear those specs, you have a much larger footprint for the battery. So I think what impresses me most about the specs is the sheer compact size of this battery. Now the manufacturer list dimensions, I'm going to give you what I'm seeing here with an actual tape measure. And I'm gonna go for the widest points. The top of the battery is just a little bit wider than the casing. And it is 18 and 7 eighths across here. Then on the height, it looks like the handles on top here, these are spring loaded. It looks like they stick up the highest. And so to the top of the casing, it's right at 10 inches. And then I would add an extra eighth of an inch for these handles because they stick up just a little bit. So let's say 10 and an eighth inches tall. And then on the depth right here, I'm looking right at 10 and 7 eighths inches there. It's got some screws that protrude beyond the casing there. So really guys, that size is what I find so impressive because you can put this in a compact space and you have 460 amp hours plus that 300 amp max discharge current. Okay, so those are the dimensions of the battery, but what about the weight? I know that was a question that I had when I was researching this battery with all that capacity. You know, this battery is very dense. And so what is the weight? It's right at 105 pounds. So yes, that is a heavy battery, but I gotta say, I really appreciate these handles on top. They're recessed and then they pop up, they're spring loaded. They've got little pads on them. And yeah, 105 pounds, I mean, that is a heavy battery but these handles make it a lot easier to maneuver. And a lot of times you're gonna be, you know, pulling this out of the shipping box, 
putting it in your RV, mounting it, and then it's, it's done. So you're not gonna be moving this around a lot probably, but I do appreciate the handles they put on top. Well, next, let me give you a quick tour of the battery and just spin it around for you so you can see what it looks like. Of course, it has a nice metal case that encases the entire battery. This is all metal all the way around. I really like that a lot. And then it has a very nice cap, a lid on the top that's secured with screws. And so like I said, I'm gonna take that off later so you can see inside. I'm gonna call this the side of the battery. It's got some vents right here. And then I'm gonna call this the front of the battery right here. And so that's where your terminal connections are. You can see it's got a little Bluetooth antenna right there and a simple on off switch. And of course the, the label with your serial number and everything. But I do like how they put these panels on here so that you can get into the battery if you're ever needing to service it or you wanted to inspect inside. I like that a lot. And then I like these terminals on top. This is just really nice the way it protects your terminals once you get everything on there. It's got two screws. I loosen those up beforehand. And so you can see it's got real nice beefy terminals with some nuts on both of them. And that way, once you get everything hooked up, you just slide this over there, tighten the screws, and this is all protected. So you don't have to worry about coming back and painting it with liquid electrical tape or doing anything else. So I really like the way they did those terminals right there. And of course, they're separated by a good bit right here in the middle. Then if we flip it around to the other side, it's gonna be just like the main side that I was showing you, vents right here. And then it's got some more specs right there on the battery itself. And then if I slide it all the way around to the rear, it's just plain right there. And then like I said on top, we've got these nice recessed handles that are spring loaded. So they're always gonna remain in the down position. And these are just very comfortable to grab onto, especially when you're lifting the battery out of the box. Now next, like I promised at the beginning of the video, I'm going to remove the top of this battery and then give you a peek inside to see the internals. I gotta be candid with you though, this is a bit out of my wheelhouse. I mean, normally I'm not doing videos on the channel where I'm taking apart lithium batteries and showing the insides. That's not my forte, that's other channels that typically do that. But the manufacturer actually asked me to show you all what the battery looks like inside. They're very proud of the way they put everything together. So I think that's really interesting that in addition to making it accessible, there are about 12 screws right here that I'm about to remove, that the manufacturer also wants you to see what it looks like inside the battery. Okay, so got it all taken apart, took under five minutes, it was really straightforward. And like I said, guys, this is not my forte, not the typical content that I put on the channel, but I did want to at least give you a look inside the battery. You know, the first thing that stands out to me is it's not a mess of spaghetti wires. Everything seems very neat and properly arranged there. They've got some really nice, thick, heavy gauge wires, of course, on the positive and negative leads right there. But uh, yeah, I'll just give you some close up views so you can see how everything looks on the inside there. And then of course, here are the, the cells and they've got some nice bars connecting them, nice thick bars. But I mean, yeah, everything appears to be very neatly organized. It looks like someone you know, carefully took the time to put all this together. And so that's really, really nice to see all that. And like I said, the manufacturer is very proud of how they put everything together in here. Okay, now the last thing that I wanna show you here on the Vatra 460 amp hour lithium battery is the companion app that connects through Bluetooth. It's all integrated directly into the battery. I really like that a lot because if a lithium battery doesn't have a built-in Bluetooth connection, you know, then I've gotta get a separate battery monitor. You know, it's extra expense, extra wiring. So I really like lithium batteries that have all that built in. So the app is really straightforward. You're seeing two batteries because I actually have another Vatra battery mounted in my RV right now. But I'm gonna to go to the top one there, ending in 008 and tap on the dashboard. And that way you can see, it's just a real clean interface. Right now, nothing is hooked up to the battery. And so of course it's showing zero current, zero watts but it's just got all the basic things that you know, typically I wanna see on a, on a battery. It's also got the temperature, which is really nice. And then you're gonna see some individual cells right there, the voltage, 
the temperatures on them as well. And so I really like that a lot. It's just one less thing that I've got to buy and add on to my battery system when it's already integrated into the battery itself. Well, folks, let me close out the video and answer the question, who would I recommend this battery to? And you know, for me personally, it checks all of the boxes. If you're an RV and you're looking for a high capacity battery, right, 460 amp hours, you're looking for built-in heating, built-in Bluetooth, a very high discharge rate of 300 amps, right? I mean, it checks all the boxes, but then not only that, it's a very compact form factor. You can actually fit this battery in an 8D battery box. That's what I've got behind me here on my travel trailer in the tongue behind the propane tanks there. Almost a year ago, I published a video demonstrating how to fit a 300 amp hour battery directly behind your tongue box within the A-frame of a travel trailer in a nice 8D battery box. And so if you're curious about how to fit a battery like that on a travel trailer, I'll put a card up above and a link in the description below for that particular video. And so for almost a year now, I've been using a Vatrair battery, a very similar one to this one here that is 300 amp hours, but it has very similar features. This one, of course, has much greater capacity. It's much more dense, but believe it or not, this battery can actually fit in an 8D box. So I could actually put this battery right here behind my propane tanks in this nice 8D battery box, nice and secure. And so I really think that's what makes this battery so appealing. It checks all the boxes, but then it's not gigantic, right? I mean, it certainly has uh, the weight there of 105 pounds, but it's very compact. And so I think this battery is a great choice for someone who's looking for that, you know, nice 460 amp hour capacity. They're looking for all those built-in features and it doesn't break the bank. I mean, it's not outrageously priced. I think you're getting a lot of value here for the money with the Vatrair 460 amp hour lithium battery. So whether you've got a travel trailer like me or a fifth wheel or even a motor home, I really think this is a great choice. Well, folks, I hope you found this video helpful. Like I said at the beginning, if you have any questions on this battery, definitely drop me a comment below and I'll be glad to answer them. I will also include affiliate links to purchase this battery down below. And so I appreciate you using those to help support the channel. As always, thanks for watching.